Hey guys, in this video we'll cover another few objectives for the MO100 exam and namely we'll work with tables and learn to sort table data, configure cell margins and spacing, merge and split cells, resize tables, rows and columns, split tables and configure a repeating row header. Before we start, I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and if you find this video useful, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So let's jump right into it and I have some sample table prepared here and the first objective is to sort table data. To do that, you have to select the relevant rows. So notice that I have a table with fruits and some nutrition facts, let's say, and I want to sort this data by calories in descending order. To do that, I select table rows and go to the layout context tab. Then I choose sort and you have a few options for level sorting so we can set multiple rules, but we'll set just one sort by column to type number in descending order. That's exactly what we need. So let's click OK and notice that the banana should go before apple. OK, perfect. That's just what we wanted. The next objective is to configure cell margins and spacing. Again, click into your table and on the layout context tab you have all the relevant options concerning margins and spacing. It's useful to open table properties. So click this arrow here, go to cell, you can click more options and here you can set the required cells margins. Notice that they are the same as the whole table but we are now in the banana cell and we can set specific margins. So let's set, for example, one inch top margin. OK, OK. And now that is the required margin. Of course, also table row height remains constant. That was expected. Another settings are available here. So when you want to simply enlarge the height of your cells, select the entire table here and increase the height. That same goes for the width, so we'll make it smaller. And when you want to select just one column or just one row, go here with your mouse until you see the black arrow. And in this way, you can quickly select your entire column and change the width, for example. OK, perfect. The next objective is to merge and split cells. So what I want to do is to merge all those cells in the first row into one. Let's go to table layout context tab and click merge cells. That's it to split cells, there's the option here, and you have to specify what you want to do with the content. So in how many columns you want to split it and in how many rows. For the sake of experimenting, let's split it into four columns and three rows. And that's what it looks like. Perfect. The next objective is to split tables. So let's say that from the row number three, I want to create a brand new table. To do that, I go to table layout context tab and click split table. Perfect. And the last objective is to configure a repeating row header. So when your table spans among multiple pages, it is useful to repeat the header. Firstly, I would like to remove this row. So let's go to layout, delete, 
delete rows and when I add multiple rows below notice that it would be useful to see here again fruit calories and carbohydrates to do that let's click here go to layout context tab and choose repeat header rows and now it is here perfect so yeah guys that is all for today i hope you find it useful if so smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one bye